In response to Diesel Ducey's video about how a best padlock works, I have here my own best cutaway padlock. Let's do a quick tour around here. I'm going to try not to take up a lot of time. I'm trying to get this so you guys can see it. Do a quick circuit here. This of course is the part of the part of the core here. Pins and all. Now if you look in here, get this so you can see it. You can see the actual latches that are holding the hasp in place. There's an authentic best core. And of course we have I don't know if you guys will be able to see these or not. Authentic best keys. Oops, let me go that way. There's your best key. This is the control key, hence the little C on the back here. This of course is the operating key, which is not marked on the back, except for this little A right here, which tells you that it's the A keyway. I don't know if you can see that or not. Both keys are marked that way because it's the best A keyway, which is actually the reverse of a Schlage C series keyway. If you ever have any of those little Schlage keys with a little C on the back for your house, this best A keyway is the exact opposite of that. If you hold them end to end, they'll be identical. Well, let's start with the operating key. Let me show you what this does. So let's stick this in like that. turn to the left, it does absolutely nothing. If you turn the key to the right, it opens the lock. This is not a key retainer, so you can take the key out with the lock open. There's a view down the, the hole for you. And here, your pins, your springs in here. And also if I turn it this way, look in this little hole in the center, and you can see the latch move back and forth. Those latches are what hold the padlock shut. Now the fun part is we'll take the uh, the core out so you can see exactly what's involved. So we'll take and we'll put the control key in, the one with the big C on it, if I can get it in there. Now this of course only turns about 15 degrees, that's as far as it goes, and out it comes. Notice if you can see those, those two little pins right there, here and here, that's what mates with these two little holes on the back of the core, and that's what makes the lock work. So there's your lock without the lock in it, without the core in it. There's your spring here that the hasp sits on, right there. Give you a quick cycle around. And we'll set that aside. There is, of course, with the lockout, the core out of it. Now, here, again, there are your two holes on the back. That's where those two little fingers go in. That's what makes the lock work. I don't know if you can see that or not with the uh, 
with the control key turned, you can see the control pins here. You can see that the pins are turned away from the rest of the pins. If I turn it back, now they're straight. This little tab right here, this is all that holds this core inside the padlock. If I turn the key, then it of course goes back and forth. So let's put the operating key in here and give you a quickie tour of what's going on inside the lock here. This lock's a, this core's a little stiff. I'm going to stop the key there so you can see that stack of pins. Instead of the control pins, those are the operating pins. They're all just different stacks. Well, that's really all there is to the core. As I say, it's a kind of a figure eight shape. Again, you've got the little locking tab here. You've got these holes on the bottom, which if I turn the key that way, you can see the bottom of the key. These little holes here on the top, these are the caps. If I were to ta take the caps out, then the pins and springs would come shooting out the top, which of course we don't want to do. That would be messy, especially because I don't have a best combinator to put it back together again, or extra caps. So let me change keys back here. track the, the locking tab and let's put it back try and do that so you can see the little fingers probably don't have this at the right angle now the core is installed back inside the lock there's your view. I'll just lock that up. Use the operating key. Again, if you turn it to the left, it does nothing. It just stops. If you turn it to the right, it pops the lock open. Again, there's your latches. They correspond to these gaps here in the hasp, here and here. This is not what they call a double ball. This doesn't use ball bearings, just uses these latches instead. That's what it uses to hold this shut. If I go like this, we're now locked. And I think that's it.